humans and robots called Rita Tokko and Moa. I am not a robot. Hi, I'm Rita. I'm eight years old. I like singing, writing and devices. And today I'm going to figure out all about artificial intelligence. I'm James Atlas. I started as a computer scientist when I was five years old with one of those school projects where you program a robotic turtle. Since that day, I've always been interested in make something else do the work. Because as a kid, I wanted a robot to do my chores for me. I don't like doing my chores. It's just boring when you can do a whole lot of other things. Oh, Kira. Kira. I'm James. I'm Rita. What do you already know about artificial intelligence? That it helps people. I like it when it does that. Can it do other things? Do things by itself without somebody controlling it. That is true. Somebody would make it do something. Even if it did it tomorrow or next week, somebody had to program it to do that. Do you know anything about programming? Uh... What would you have it do? Do all my chores. When you take that piece of code, the best thing about it is we could take that same piece of code and run it again. The robot might do your chores next week and the week after. You write a really good program, you could give it to your brother, and your brother could run it, and it would do his chores. You could uh... give it to But the most important part of it is that we can run that program more than once, and it's going to do the same thing every time. Wow. What does the autonomous mean? It means it's got an energy and a repetition that it continues to do stuff. Once it's programmed and the button is pressed and says start, it will continue to do whatever you've programmed it to forever. Great job. <laughs> so wait, if I press this again, it's going to do it again? Yes. Whoa, wait, what? At some point, maybe if you wanted to play Minecraft and none of your friends were available to play Minecraft with you, you could just get an AI to play with you so you could have somebody else to build stuff with. That would be amazing. Are they all the creepers and zombies? AI? I... Yes, they are. They're, they're mean. <laughs> they're mean? Yes, because they explode. Would you want the AI to go to school for you? Because you would... I you want would... it to like be my pet and come to school with me. Having, yeah, having a, like a it friend be my AI calculator. or... I think artificial intelligence is where you control it to do something and it does it for you. It will keep doing it until you stop it. She really got the idea that it was going to do it over again and on its own. So I think she got some of the core ideas there. She clearly is able to present, so she'll do fine presenting. What do you remember from when we talked to James the other day? I... Uh, all the robots. <laughs> <laughs> Just finish our slide, how are you feeling now? Proud. I feel proud of it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Humans and robots called Rita Tokko and Moa. I am not a robot. Today I'm going to be teaching about artificial intelligence. You're probably wondering what artificial intelligence means. Artificial means not usual and is made by a scientist, and intelligence means smart or something is good at something. <laughs> On YouTube, I watched this cool person going to a robot hotel where robots did all the jobs. They made the food, they answered questions about the place. I think it's kind of creepy. You want to stay in the robot hotel because, like, if you need to go to it, there's, like, cameras going everywhere. <laughs> did you know the mobs in Minecraft are actually artificial intelligence? The villagers, the creepers, the zombies, they are all AI. Artificial intelligence is useful. They can answer questions like Siri, they could do your homework, they can show you how to go places like a map, they can even do dangerous jobs. My friend James <laughs> showed me some AI robots. One was a creepy monkey head that showed different faces. Another was a robot that you can teach to play games and it got better and better and better and better. I think we should make a dog AI uh, that you can play with. It would be a great pet and you could take it on holidays. You could turn it off when you need to. It could even do things for you. You could talk to it, it could poop out food. Coke slushy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, you'd probably get a cup and it would squeeze out. Oh, hold on, I just realised. Goodbye, smash that subscribe button, like and subscribe, 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 subscribe. Press it. Oh my gosh. Besides the blue button on the bottom? No, no, I think, oh. Save? Save? Oh, this one. The save? Oh, great, oh. You did an excellent job. You highlighted a lot of the core concepts of artificial intelligence. You also addressed a lot of the concerns people have, especially the privacy part when you were talking about the robot hotel. You also showed a lot of the benefits of AI. Am I allowed to mention dog poo? Yes! Dog slushy. The dog slushy. Bye! Bye. Thanks for watching! <laughs>